one critical thing in this course as, is that you should be able to scale up uh, adsorption column. Now the thing is that to do experiments with adsorption can sometimes be really, really expensive. At uh, one time in, in the history of our department, we got, I think it was two grams uh, of uh, a product and uh, that was worth something like 100,000 or 200,000 euros. So serious amount of money for only one gram. That's uh, serious, right? So when you're dealing with that kind of stuff, you, you want to make an experiment in small scale and then be able to scale that up to something a lot bigger. Uh, now, we're going to use a trick in this course. We're going to assume that you have a constant pattern. Uh, we didn't say earlier when that happened, uh, but a critical thing here is that you need to have a favorable isotherm. You know, as, as the concentration gradient uh, flows through the column, uh, the f foremost front of, of the concentration gradient, there the concentration is low, right? Uh, and you have diffusion and dispersion that wants to spread out this concentration gradient. But if you have a favorable uh, adsorption isotherm, what happens is that you adsorb unproportionately um, more when you have uh, low concentrations. And that will slow the this spreading out of the concentration gradient down. And you get what is called a self-sharpening. Uh, so you need to have a favorable isotherm. You also need to have a situation where you have a long enough column. Because in, if you remember in the beginning, the concentration gradient looked a bit differently. Uh, in the small column and the large column, you want to have the same matrix and the same packing. So, I mean, and that's pretty obvious, right? You can't have one adsorbent in, in the small column and then change to different. And you have to have the same degree of packing in the small and the large column. Uh, you also need in this trick for this trick to work to have the same velocity in the in the column uh, meaning that the flow divided with the transactional area must be constant what happens if this is uh, true is that the length of unused bed stays constant so for example if we increase the length so we have a small column that is also short and then we have a large column that is also long. Well, for one thing, you increase the capacity, right? Because uh, yeah, the, the larger the volume you have, the more adsorbent you can put in there. But you also increase the degree of utilization since the length of unused bed is constant.